we have a vessel of height h which is filled with water the base area is s and we have a small orifice at the bottom of area small s how soon the water will pour out so let's say at somewhere between h and 0 when the water column's height is x so let's say it falls by an amount dx so obviously whatever uh, whatever the liquid is uh, lost here will would have gone out from the orifice in the moment dt so we are going to equate the volume flow rate at these two moments so that's what we'll do so let's say water level falls from h to x in time t and further at t plus dt we will write continuity equations at 1 and 2 so at 1 dv by dt volume flow rate is equal to volume flow rate at point 2 so how much volume has changed at point 1 so water column has fallen by dx amount so dv is s into dx s into dx and dv of the water coming out we know that is velocity into area so velocity into small s and velocity of efflux is root 2 gx now we have added a minus sign here to make both the sides positive because with time dx is negative see this is x and then dx is coming down so it is in opposite direction of x so if you have taken x in this direction then dx is negative to make it positive we have added a minus sign so now both the terms are positive so now we have a relation between x and time so we'll integrate both sides time from 0 to t naught and x from h to 0 so we do that and we'll find the time in which it will empty to be this